the crop load really, you know, you've got to start working with the amount of flower butts you've got on there and also the aim what you're trying to do. So we're still going to need an extension growth so we can't max out the, the amount of fruit that we go uh, on here. So we do a butt count. That's what we usually do as in the amount of flower butts. And this system works really well for it because you can do it in sections. So we count, count all the flower buds and how many is actually potentially in these. We do a circumference of a diameter off the, off the rootstock. We multiply by pi and then we set up a scenario of square centimetres. So we go millimetres, then we go square centimetre um, um, trunk size. And we look at this variety now, if we put eight on per square centimetre, so if that's, if you, if that was a two or a four, so if it was a two, we need 16 fruit on there. If it's a four, we can go 32 fruit on there. Um, but this is probably bigger, uh, it's probably about five. So we know how many fruit we can carry on here. Um, if we needed to stop the tree, the higher the number of uh, fruit per square in, uh, centimetres, and then we've got a, a happy medium, we go, well, we'll get enough growth and we get enough um, production. Or we have to really grow this tree, so we, we drop the number down again. And so we know what the target is, what we, how we've got to uh, get the maximum of this at this time uh, and trying to get the growth. So butt count, then it becomes um, fruit count, and then that's what we're going to harvest. So... Yeah, it's, we, we do a lot, a lot of counting now. Though. So when we overcrop the trees, we lose a lot of colour all over the tree because of the, the amount of stress we put on the tree. So um, we can get adjust the number exactly to our probably history that we really built up on the tree, what we can count, and then hopefully we can get the 85, 90% first pick uh, of the fruit. Because you're looking at an average, so we're on top of the hill over here, maybe down the bottom, the, the trees might be actually a bit bigger and bigger trunk size. So you would have to um, work, um, because you've got a bigger trunk size, that we can carry more fruit up there and less up here. But we've still got the same amount of growth coming out of, out of the tree. And, and so that will even out the, 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 the tree. But because we're hanging more fruit down the bottom, we won't have the trees under stress. We don't hang as many over here, we don't put the trees under stress, and so the colour should be pretty uh, even. In a system like this, we, it tends to, um, we get a lot of fruit uh, starting to move uh, going upstairs, and we actually start losing limbs uh, further down, and also the limbs that are staying uh, down below will get quite weak. So what we tend to do, and this is a trick that we get actually get from pears, is actually we can cut through one yard wood in the in the winter time. So um, if we want a lot of growth, we can go a long way, you know, leave a long piece behind because the, the leaf buds are quite a lot bigger and a lot stronger up here compared to the leaf buds that are further back and are closer to the like like the well, you, what do you call them the, the smaller circles and and that would only give us a small growth. But it keeps telling the branch this is a growing point. And we can keep going back to that one cut all the time just to tell the tree this is a growing limb. If we don't do this, it will just die on us. And then all the crop starts moving up. So to, to uh, stimulate this and also to get the better colour down here because this is healthier because that's a growing point. <laughs>